It's been 687 days since the Russia invasion of Ukraine, sparking a deadly war overseas. As casualties continue to add up, there seems to be no end in sight for the two countries. Today, we are getting a different perspective of the fighting in a new documentary, 20 Days in Mariupol. WFMY News 2's Manning Franks takes us behind the lines of war. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> As journalists, I personally believe that part of our responsibility is to highlight, to show, to tell the stories of others who may not have the platform to do so. And I especially have the utmost respect for those who do all of that in a war zone. AP photojournalist Mstislav Chernov is one of those people. He completely embedded himself in the early days of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine during the siege of Mariupol. He put to film all of the atrocities committed against the Ukrainian people for all the world to see, resulting in a documentary that is difficult to watch, but necessary to view. My brain will desperately want to forget all this, but the camera will not let it happen. As the Russian invasion of Ukraine began in February of 2022, Mariupol became a flashpoint as a blockade formed around the city and its people. For 20 days, AP photojournalist Mstislav Chernov and his colleagues were embedded in a trapped Mariupol, with the sole purpose to document the war in a battle-torn country cut off from the rest of the world. 20 days in a Mariupol is unflinching in its documentation of the war, showcasing the deep darkness of multiple scenarios, ultimately leading to some of the most striking images of the war you will ever see. A pregnant woman being rushed from a bombed hospital, doctors performing surgeries in the hallway, soldiers attempting to fight back against a force greater than themselves. We are invited to take a peek behind the curtain and witness an event that here in the United States, we would be only privy to with newscasts or pictures on social media. And 20 Days in Mariupol offers a harrowing first-hand account that will live on in our digital history books. Chernov ensures that while the images are at times gruesome, we never lose the humanity of these individuals fighting for their home with the goal of our souls to feel that deep sense of empathy. It's a brilliant documentary through and through, and I can only imagine the dangers that he faced getting this footage. I'll admit I'm guilty of this myself, but sometimes I can lose sight of things that aren't in my own backyard. 20 Days in Mariupol hopes to change that, or at least remind us that these are real people, this is a real place, and this is a real life-shattering event for many. This documentary is journalism, truly, at its finest. I'm giving 20 Days in Mariupol a glowing to approved. Right now, you can in fact stream it for free on the Frontline PBS YouTube page.